हेलो एवरीवन, आई एम सिमरन गगनेजा अ रिसर्च स्कॉलर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ माइक्रोबायोलॉजी पंजाब यूनिवर्सिटी टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर विद यू एन ऑ इंस्पायरिंग स्टोरी ऑफ अ नोबल लॉरियट फिजिशियन हुज पैशन फॉर साइंस एंड ह्यूमैनिटी न्यू नो बाउंड्स ही शॉक्ड एवरी वन बाई रिस्किंग हिज ओन लाइफ टू प्रूव हिज हाइपोथिस दैट इवेंचुअली टर्न आउट टू बी अ बून फॉर दी एंटायर मैन काइंड हेलीकोबैक्टर पायलॉरी इज अ स्पायरल शेप्ड माइक्रो एरोफिलिक बैक्टीरियम विच इज एसोशिएटेड विद पैप्टिकल्सर्स इन द स्टमक एंड डिओडिनम दिस बैक्टीरियम इज स्पेसिफिकली मैंशन इन मेडिकल माइक्रोबायोलॉजी ड्यू टू इट्स केपेबिलिटी टू टॉलरेट अ पी एच रेंज ऑफ फोर पॉइंट फाइव टू सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव इट कैन एफिशियंटली न्यूट्रलाइज द एसिडिटी ऑफ द गैस्ट्रिक ल्यूमिन and deploy several mechanisms to overcome the lethal effects of gastric acidity the clinical manifestation of this disease include gastritis and peptic ulcers and even gastric mold lymphoma the major virulence factor of helicobacter pylori was found to be enzyme urease as it protects itself by releasing large quantity of urease for years together peptic ulcers posed a major challenge for entire medical fraternity as it had become the second leading cause for gastric cancer deaths the mystery of such ulcers was put to an end by eminent scientists perry marshall and robin warren who also won the nobel prize in 2005 for his commendable work prior to the discovery of helicobacter pylori as the causative agent of peptic ulcers doctors used to prescribe antacids for the treatment of peptic ulcers however the treatment used to prove ineffective and with time the symptoms used to worsen thereby contributing to increased mortality rates intrigued with this situation barry marshall an australian physician along with robin warren started working on peptic ulcers they studied the biopsied ulcers and inferred that these were caused due to a bacterial infection however medical community at that time refuted the idea as they firmly believed stress and lifestyle to be the major factors leading to gastric cancer frustrated perry grew impatient hence with a passion to prove his hypothesis and to avoid any ethical dilemma he cultured the isolated bacterium in a broth and drank the potion The reason why he experimented on himself was that Helicobacter pylori infects only primates, which is why he couldn't work on mice models. His commitment towards his cause made him volunteer himself as a human model and put himself at stake. In the records, he mentioned that the potion tasted like swamp water, and after few days he started developing the symptoms of peptic ulcer. Her mother observed that within days his breath started to stink. He started feeling nauseated and his health conditions worsened with time. Fortunately, with the right treatment of antibiotics and antacids, he recovered from the disease. In this way, due to demonstration and direct evidence provided by Barry Marshall, it was firmly established that Helicobacter pylori causes more than 90% of duodenal ulcers and up to 80% of gastric ulcers. Not only that, the effective combination of antibiotics and antacids for the treatment and healing of peptic ulcers is also available now having discovered helicobacter pylori in 1983 barry marshall and his associate robin warren became the joint recipients of prestigious nobel prize in physiology and medicine in 2005 for their commendable discovery so the story truly depicts the dedication and commitment of a great scientist who didn't even hesitate to risk his own life for finding a cure for this fatal disease thereby serving humanity i would like to express my immense gratitude for my dear professor archana ma'am who wholeheartedly welcomed me to speak in this channel which truly makes this our channel a joyful and powerful platform for sharing great educational and motivational stuff this is truly a place where we all can together grow and learn as well as share amazing aspects of microbiology and people associated with it with this i would like to take your leave for now but shall see you very soon with another amazing video take care and bye till next time